Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Mathematics 9709, Pure Mathematics 3. Our topic is Partial Fractions. Here we see in Section 3.1 of the syllabus that the required outcome relating to partial fractions is to be able to express rational functions in partial fractions and to decompose expressions in three cases. One, repeated linear factors. That's the first example we see as ax plus b times cx plus d times zx plus f. Two, a repeated linear factor, the second scenario given, which I'll read slightly differently as ax plus b times cx plus d times cx plus d, or cx plus d squared as written, the repeated linear factor. And the third scenario is a quadratic factor involved, ax plus b times cx squared plus d. An important note is that the method of partial fractions applies only to proper fractions. A proper fraction is one in which the degree of the denominator is greater than that of the numerator. If you're dealing with an improper fraction, you can use polynomial division the remainder of your result will be a proper fraction, and you can then apply the method of partial fractions to that remainder. And finally, the importance of partial fraction lies in their application to the topics of binomial expansion and integral calculus, which we'll review in later lessons. Proceeding with this lesson, in the following three videos, we'll see examples of each of the three cases of partial fractions.